you can see here we're at graphic settings 4K. Quality setting is max. So now we're getting into what the 48 is supposed to be doing, and that's 1440p or even occasionally 4K gaming. And you can see here, I mean, very good performance here. No tweaking, no lowering of the settings or anything like that. Um, yeah, very, very good performance here. So we're at 1440p here and just see what kind of, again, unfortunately we're locked at 120 as a max. So unfortunately we're just going to have to kind of make do with 120 FPS. Obviously we can do more because we're, you know, hitting 120 FPS. The 0.1% lows aren't horrible. Um, I mean, we were doing fine at 4K, right? So uh, VRAM is obviously well optimized in this game. Uh, CPU is not getting hot. So we'll do 4K again just for a moment here. I just want to get into some other areas. And I mean, now the GPU is at max. Yeah, so the fans are a little noisy, but I mean, we're also getting like 75 FPS on average at 4K max. But I mean, we're getting 75 FPS max 4K in a brand new game. Not a visual, like this is a visually stunning game. Uh, here we are at 4K max. And this game looks incredible at high resolutions. I have, uh, let's move around here a bit. Yeah, so I mean, we're not, oops, we're not really gonna have any issues running this game. Uh, it is not the most easy to run game. Some people may think, oh, it's a top-down game, it's not 3D, it's easy to run. Well, that's not true. Um, but you can see here, it's uh, getting good frames, 80 or 90. We're indoors, let's uh, let's actually jump to a previous save I have somewhere uh, for an outdoor area, which is much much harder to run. Yeah, you can see out here, you know, it's running just fine. If you have a 1440p screen, um, it's obviously gonna run quite well as well. Um, so there's really no issues there. Oh, Father's blessings to you. I started one of clerks, a drow was hideous, but fascinating. But there's hope oh, I helped. If I can join you and get close to moonrise, what kept I started the shadow curse for you? Yeah, so I mean, it's running very well. Let's cast some spells in that just to get some effects. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, now we're back at 4K. I threw it on medium. Uh, 4K might be a bit of a stretch uh, for a laptop, to be honest, especially in Hogwarts, but 4K might be a bit of a stretch at four, 4K might be a bit of a stretch for a uh, laptop in Hogwarts Legacy. This is not an easy game to run, but I wanted to get a baseline here. So 4K um, medium, just no DLSS and it's Running fine, I guess, 30 FPS, console, last gen console kind of tier. So 4K, medium, balanced DLSS. So if you have a 4K screen like I do, uh, you just throw on balanced DLSS and it looks good. And because again, this is a 4K screen, there's a lot of pixel data to up res. Um, it looks good actually, not blurry at all. A little bit below, f you know, 60, we're at oh, 50 or so, 50, 48 to 50. Uh, still very playable, obviously. We're at 4. So 1440p ultra here, uh, native in this case, 45 FPS. So if you have a 1440p screen, uh, and you're okay with, like I said, balanced mode is what I call it. This is how I play the PS5 I was saying before. 45 FPS is the target. Okay, here we are in Ratchet and Clank. Oh, wow, okay. Well, there you go. There's your 4080. This is 4K very high on a 4080 native. Huge, I did recently tested the 4060, which did well, but it's not even close to this well. Obviously, you know, the 4080, there's a big jump in.
4K high settings. Uh, pretty demanding. This is a very demanding game, and it's running very well. You can see the VRAM there, 10 gigabytes. So, I mean, obviously, you know, this 4080 having 20, 12 gigabytes is very clutch here. Very good performance. Really, really good performance here, to be honest. Apparently, we can get away with 4K high. So let's try very high. Um, I actually didn't anticipate it would run this well. So we'll see. 10 gigabytes of VRAM being used by the game. We have 12 to work with. And 4K, that's rough. Okay, so 4K very high is rough. There's a big jump I found when I was testing this game previously from high to very high. Yeah, that's too much. You can see it very, very glitchy at times. But, I mean, so DLSS balanced on very high. See there? Let's see what we get. So very high balanced DLSS, and that's good. So, so if you're going to play with very high, um, you're going to need some DLSS, and it actually makes a huge jump here. So you can just play, you know, 4K high, and you're done. 4K high gets you close, to, you know, around 60 or so. Um... But if you want to play at very high, which there is a visual difference here, I actually do notice it. So 4K very high with uh, balanced DLSS, and you know now you're good. Yeah, so I guess uh, 1440p very high, maxed out basically. Um, the 0.1% loads aren't fantastic, but the average is very high. Okay, so you can see here, 4K Ultra. I'm actually surprised it's running this well. It's going to give us uh, 40 to 45 FPS. That's pretty good, actually, for 4K. Up to 50 in here. Less demanding over here. 55, wow. This is 4K. And Cyberpunk is like, it is not an easy to run game. And this is Ultra presets, right? So. Uh, over here in this these trees I, I stay here because these trees can really smash your frame rates a bit that distance rendering still you know, Still 35 so you could play like this get your console Tier you know 35 to 45 even 50 FPS, but let's try a little bit of uh, DLSS So quality DLSS here looks like it tacked on maybe 7 FPS out there uh, Out here we should be you know well above should be about 60 or so up here. I would guess way up all right 68 not a demanding area you know indoors in these areas here um, easy to run easier to run at 60 fps out here with you know roads and that not terrible um, you know dipping down to 45 over here is going to be dipped down a bit more let's up the dlss a little bit here too balanced see if we can get you know closer to 50 55 or so yeah see balance is really going to help you're going to get almost 60 in these tough areas here. So, you know, if you want to play at 4K on Ultra, 4K Ultra and uh, 4K Ultra and Balanced DLSS is going to get you, you know, 55 in the really hard areas. And, you know, you're up to 80 or so over here. So let's just try high with uh, no scaling here. So high presets, no scaling. 4K. Yeah, this is more playable. Ultra was a stretch without DLSS. It was a stretch. Um, it was you could playable, but yeah, much better here on high. Um, see if we can get what medium gets us here on 4K. Yeah, it looks like you can probably just play at medium 4K straight up, no scaling. I would probably turn it up a bit and put a little bit of DLSS, but on 1440p. Yeah. Big jump in performance at 1440p. You know, almost 100 out here. It'll dip down a bit down here. Still good though, 1440p. Yeah, 80 FPS. 
even in this challenging area. Very good. So 1440p ultra, you can just max it. Uh, balance maybe 1440p ultra, ray tracing, balance DLSS. Yeah, that's gonna that'll give you actually a really good frame rate there. If you really want ray tracing at 1440p, throw on some balance DLSS and uh, yeah, you're pretty good to go here actually. Yeah, so I mean there you go. Totally viable at 4K, totally viable at 1440p. Again, here's a look at the temps here. I've been gaming for apparently an hour and 28 minutes. Lots of game testing. Um, let's see what we're getting here for temps. So obviously, <clears throat> obviously the max here, you know, we were getting some throttling, you know, installing games and that kind of stuff. But on average, we've been getting very good frames. And I've been gaming the whole time. So um, actually really good performance there. Uh, GPU... Yep, nice and cool. 